monitoring your response to therapy in chronic myeloid leukemia, the chromosomal abnormality of CML, the importance of the PCR test, how PCR works, what the PCR test results mean to you. In the beginning, there was the cell. The cell has a nucleus in which your DNA resides. Your DNA has your chromosomes and your genes. The ability of all life to copy itself for future generations originates in the correct reproduction of the cell. An important part of the copy cycle is the correct duplication of the genetic information, the DNA of the cell. Think of DNA as the software or code which runs your computer. In 90% of CML patients, a rare chromosomal abnormality occurs. A switch of chromosomal material, called a translocation between chromosomes 9 and 22, form a new fusion gene, the BCR-ABL gene. Because this change was discovered in Philadelphia, it is now referred to as the Philadelphia chromosome. The BCR-ABL fusion gene functions abnormally, creating a protein increased with tyrosine kinase, which results in longer cell survival and uncontrolled cell growth. This causes white blood cells in the myeloid lineage to increase dramatically. For this reason, the disease is called chronic myelogenous leukemia. Chronic equals slow progressing. Myelogenous equals myeloid cell line. Leukemia equals white blood. CML is monitored by a highly sensitive molecular test called the polymerase chain reaction, or PCR, and this is how it works. The PCR test is at least 10,000 times more sensitive than cytogenic testing. With CML, PCR testing can detect one abnormal chromosome in a haystack of 100,000. We will use the analogy of looking for the needle in the haystack. With CML, the needle the PCR test is looking for is the Philadelphia chromosome. DNA primer. Target DNA. DNA polymerase enzymes. Nucleotides. Your blood sample contains millions of cells, and this is the haystack. Test is done on RNA that is reverse transcribed into DNA. The first step in the process is called a heating reaction. The heating reaction causes the strands of DNA to separate. The next step in the process is called the cooling reaction. The cooling reaction causes the DNA primer to stick to homogeneous sequences of single-stranded target DNA. The DNA polymerase enzyme tag polymerase adds nucleotides to copy the remaining section of the target DNA. Once filled in by the nucleotides, a strand of new DNA additional to the target DNA has been made. This is the end of the first cycle. This is the beginning of the next cycle. This cycle will be repeated 30 to 50 times, producing 100,000 copies of your target DNA. Many of you will be familiar with your PCR results expressed as a log reduction. A new score has recently been adopted, and your lab may now be reporting your results using the new international scale. The chart compares both for easy reference. International standardization of PCR testing is currently underway, with a number of hospitals across Canada participating. The first test done on your sample uses a housekeeping gene with standard known results. This is used to confirm the quality of the sample, the RNA, and to make sure PCR itself is working well. The second test is used to detect the BCR-ABL gene.